The movie opens up with Bill Williamson, a young adult who lives with his parents and is frustrated with the current state of the world. Listening to the news in the background, he expresses his frustration about the increasing population, economic crisis, pollution, and wars that are going on in different parts of the country. To manage his anger, he engages in physical activities such as hitting a punching bag and throwing darts at human body illustrations. But despite his anger, Bill appears to be emotionally attached to his parents and maintains a calm demeanor when he's having breakfast and talking with them. During their conversation, however, Bill's parents express their concern about his lack of enthusiasm. They suggest that he prepare for his own place, but Bill is not ready to leave his parents' home yet. He tells them that it'll take some time for him to save enough money after he finishes his education. Even when his parents offer to support him financially, Bill declines their help and seems content to remain where he is. As they're getting late for work, Bill's mother, Mrs. Williamson, suggests a family gathering in the evening to help resolve the situation. Afterward, Bill goes to a coffee shop to order his favorite drink, a double espresso macchiato. However, when he receives his drink, he believes that it's not what he actually asked for and demands his money back. To his dismay, the clerk refuses to give him a refund and mocks him, stating that it's the best coffee shop in the town. This further angers Bill, compelling him to leave the coffee shop in frustration. In the following scene, Bill, a part-time mechanic, can be seen repairing an old van. He seems to be putting in a lot of effort, but his boss suddenly appears there and urges him to stop wasting time on the van and start working on another car. Bill informs his boss that he's already completed working on three other cars. However, the boss talks to him rudely and taunts him to work hard. Bill reluctantly agrees and puts the van aside, showing that he's not pleased with the decision. Later after work, Bill meets Evan, his only friend, in a parking lot. Evan, who is a leftist philosopher, has a different perspective on social norms and is concerned about overpopulation. He gives Bill two boxes, stating that his father is skeptical about them and nearly caught him. After this, the duo goes to a restaurant named Chicken Den to eat. There, Evan tries to flirt with the waitress, but fails. To make matters worse, the waitress accidentally spills some food on them. Because of this, Evan gets angry and demands his money back, but the waitress refuses and offers to redo their orders. Bill, sensing Evan's rising anger, tries to calm his friend down. The situation eventually cools and leads to a serious discussion between the two friends about the world's current problems. In the following scene, Evan expresses his concern about overpopulation and its effects on the environment. He believes that those who contribute to environmental destruction should be eliminated. He then mentions the negative effects of overpopulation, such as air pollution and the depletion of the ozone layer. Evan empathizes the need for change, but he fails to provide an acceptable answer to Bill's questions regarding what kind of change is needed, who will initiate it, and what he will do as an individual. Later, Bill accuses Evan of being all talk and no action, which leads to a heated discussion between them. Afterward, when Bill returns home, he informs his parents that he has exciting news for them, but wants to discuss it the next morning. He then enters his room and begins assembling Kevlar armor from parts he's received from Evan. On the other hand, Bill's parents are curious about the news, so they anxiously wait for the other day. Inside his room, as Bill works with wires, Evan's video can be seen playing in the background, in which he expressed his concerns about overpopulation and the need for action. However, Bill responds to the video with a snicker, suggesting that he may not agree with Evan's views or take them seriously. Bill seems to have become desensitized to Evan's philosophical speeches as he repeats them word for word. He then proceeds to print a significant amount of counterfeit money and begins to work out, suggesting a possible involvement in illegal activities or planning something big. The next day, Bill informs his parents that he's taking the day off work to fill out college applications for a mechanical engineering major. He also apologizes to them for his previous behavior and expresses a desire to have a purpose in his life. 
His parents are pleased to hear this and leave for work after praising his decision. However, as soon as they leave, Bill's true plan is revealed. He retrieves a weapons kit with various guns, machetes, and a wireless detonator. He puts on self-made bulletproof armor, complete with a ballistic helmet and paintball mask, making him look like a member of a US SWAT team. As he poses in front of the mirror, we're shown a video of Bill discussing the survival of the fittest theory, indicating a possible belief in extreme ideologies. This behavior is concerning and suggests that Bill may be planning to take drastic and potentially dangerous actions in pursuit of his beliefs. Bill holds a belief that the theory of survival of the fittest can be applied to humans as well. He has become frustrated with the individuals who prioritize their own needs above those of society, and he's also concerned about the limited resources available. As a solution to these issues, he proposes eliminating those individuals who are a burden on society and are consuming resources without giving anything in return. To execute his plan, Bill walks out of his house and switches his car to one that has no license plate. He then drives straight to the town center, where he locates the broken down van that he had been working on in the garage previously. Then, using a wireless device, he commandeers the van and drives it straight into the police department's building, causing significant damage. Following this, he sets off a bomb that he had kept inside the van, wrecking the police station and making it easier for him to carry out the rest of his plan. With the police out of commission, Bill drives his licenseless car away and steers around the streets. On his way, he indiscriminately shoots at any person he sees, causing panic and chaos in the area. Despite attempts by two police officers to stop him, their bullets aren't able to penetrate Bill's bulletproof armor, and they get killed by Bill when they run out of ammunition. Bill's actions have created a state of panic and fear among the public, and the authorities are scrambling to contain the situation. The extent of the damage caused by his actions remains to be seen, but it is clear that Bill's plan is one of destruction and violence, with no regard for the safety and well-being of others. As he continues to walk through the town, Bill revels in the fear and panic he's created among the people. Despite the numerous dead bodies scattered on the ground, he continues his ruthless rampage without showing any sign of remorse. He seems to take particular pleasure in targeting food-related establishments, as if he's punishing those who he perceives as having more than they deserve. He even goes out of his way and visits the same coffee shop where he ordered the coffee before. Bill then humiliates the barista he had argued with earlier and orders similar coffee. Sadly, before the barista can fulfill his order, he murders him ruthlessly and walks away. After his killing spree, Bill stops at a spa to rest and hydrate, enjoying the fear he instills in the women there. He talks to them for a while before leaving without killing anyone. With his generosity, the women are a bit relaxed and try to return to normal. However, their happiness is short-lived as Bill returns to the spa and brutally opens fire on them, mentioning that they saw his face while he was resting and having food. In the following scene, Bill walks into a crowded bingo hall filled with elderly players and looks around. To his surprise, none of them give any attention and just keep on playing their games. Taking into consideration their old age, he decides to let them live, believing that they are already close to death. Next, he enters a bank to commit a robbery, taking control of the situation with ease like a seasoned professional. However, one of the bank employees bravely tries to take Bill down, interrupting his plans and forcing him to stop his spree. Filled with rage and resentment, Bill unleashes a violent outburst in the bank, killing innocent people and slashing the throat of the employee who tried to stop him. In a desperate attempt to save his own life, the bank manager eventually hands over the money to Bill. Outside, Bill sets fire to the fake money he had created earlier as a symbolic act to demonstrate how currency contributes to the problems in society. As he heads to his next target, Bill receives a call from his mother who nervously asks if he's okay. Pretending to be unaware of the chaos he has caused, Bill lies to his mother and assures her that he's not left the house. 
Even though he slips up and drops a clue about his true whereabouts, his mother doesn't notice and pleads with him to stay indoors. On his way, Bill enters the chicken den and takes revenge on the waitress who had previously argued with Evan. He mercilessly kills her by shooting her in the chest. Shortly after, Evan calls Bill and expresses his disappointment at his tardiness, completely unaware of the carnage that Bill has caused. Evan is in fact waiting for Bill to arrive at the forest to play the paintball game they had planned. After the call, Bill proceeds to the woods. However, on his way, the police radio receiver rings, and he gets to know that a police unit led by Sheriff Melvoy is returning to town. This realization prompts him to plant a massive bomb behind the town's welcome sign. As he waits, Evan calls him again to inform him that he's leaving. Bill strongly insists that Evan remain where he is, and in an attempt to persuade him to stay, he uses trash talk and ambiguously tells Evan that he's going to kill him. Sometime later, the sheriff and his associates arrive at the welcome sign, driving two cruisers toward the town's entrance. Unfortunately, as soon as they reach the sign, Bill detonates the bomb, which obliterates one of the cruisers. However, the sheriff and two other deputies survive the blast and pursue Bill into the woods. There, Bill stops his car and warns the sheriff and his deputies that they shouldn't follow him any further. But despite his warning, the cops continue to pursue him, leading to a chaotic and bloody battle between Bill and the law enforcement officials. When the sheriff and the deputies open fire on him, Bill detonates his car and kills two deputies on the spot. He then flees into the dense forest, and Sheriff Melvoy is forced to continue the pursuit on his own. Unfortunately, just as he reaches a bit farther, the ruthless killer attacks him from behind and leaves him to die. Moving on, Bill makes his way through the forest and reaches out to Evan. The latter is shocked to see him carrying a large amount of cash and starts inquiring about the source. Frustrated, Bill uses a stun gun to incapacitate Evan before placing a pistol in his hand. He then plots the situation as a self-kill and eliminates Evan with a cold and emotionless demeanor, shooting him right through his skull. By staging Evan's death as a self-kill and dressing him in a suit, Bill uses him as a scapegoat to deflect blame from himself. In the following scene, Bill decides to burn everything that could potentially cause trouble, and then he heads back home. At home, he sits on the couch and watches the news of the destruction, while trying to act as normal as possible. Soon enough, his concerned parents arrive home and check up on him, unaware of the heinous crimes he's committed. In front of them, Bill puts on a shocked face and informs them that his friend Evan has committed all the crimes, and convinces them that he is afraid of all this. Bill's parents have no idea about how many lives their son has taken, and are oblivious to the evil crimes he's committed. Moving on, Bill begins packing his belongings and the money he acquired into his suitcase in his bedroom. In the meantime, the TV in the background shows the news of Evan's father who is strongly against the government, being arrested. Bill seems unbothered by the news and continues to pack his things, getting ready to leave. He increases his pace after hearing Evan's father yelling out his name and blaming him for all the chaos. Bill then quickly grabs his suitcase and leaves his room to avoid any confrontation. The scene then fast forwards two years, when Bill posts a video online and explains his actions. In the video, he expresses his concerns about the world's limited resources and the overpopulation problem. He claims that his actions were a solution to these issues, and he hopes that others can learn from his example and take action to preserve life on Earth. Despite the gravity of his crimes, Bill does not express any remorse for his actions. Instead, he seems to believe that what he did was necessary. The movie ends with Bill encouraging others to take similar drastic steps like him to save the planet.